The Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, Most Reverend Ignatius Kaigama, has ordained four new deacons for Abuja Ashtasis. During the ordination, Kaigama commended the peaceful coexistence that exists in St. Donatus Dutse Sokale. The report. <laughs> Priests, other religious, and the lay faithful gathered in their numbers at St. Donatus Catholic Church, Dutse Sokale, for the diaconate ordination of four seminarians in the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja. In a brief opening remark, the parish priest, Reverend Father Estefanus Sheyi, described the day as one that the parishioners will not forget in a hurry. Your priest, it is indeed a privilege to have you in our midst for the very first time. And yet another privilege to be the host to this year's diaconate ordination. Sincerely, <laughs> sincerely, we will not forget these privileges in a hurry and so we live to remember them for the rest of our lives. Archbishop Kegama, in his response, expressed happiness that his visit and the ordination coincided with a special day in the calendar of the church. Today, God has blessed us in many ways. We have the Sunday of Divine Mercy. We have the ordination of four deacons. And we have many of you who are gathered here who have never been here before. God has brought you to Saukale today. The rite of the diaconate ordination commenced with the calling out of the candidates and the confirmation that they were the chosen ones for the order of deacons. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these men, our brothers, for service as deacons. Mass then continued with the liturgy. The Archbishop, in his homily, encouraged willingness in service as this makes progress possible. He also made reference to the early deacons chosen by the Apostles based on merit and spoke of their duties which were centered on service. They don't get ordained as priests, but these ones are transitional. After nine, ten years of study in the seminary, they are aspiring to be priests. And today is a major step. By being ordained deacons, they are on the way. And by the grace of God, someday we shall gather again to witness their priestly ordination. Yeah. Mm. So, I ask you to embrace your ministry with faith. Your ministry is not a ministry of convenience, not of choice places. I want to go only where things are flourishing, things are in abundance, things are beautiful. No. You go where the Lord needs you. And you are to embrace everyone. No discrimination. No exclusion. You are to go where you are sent. To preach peace. To preach love. And to pre preach God's mercy. And I ask you to anchor your faith in Jesus. And like Thomas, be able to say always, My Lord and my God. What do we say? My Lord and my God. In times of temptation, in times of frustration, in times of weakness, in times of when you just feel not too good. Not too good, you say, my Lord and my God. John 20, 28. The rite of ordination continued with oath of celibacy, candidate examination, and promise of obedience, which was followed by the litany of the saints. By your own free choice, you seek to enter the order of deacons, you shall exercise this ministry in the celibate state. For celibacy is both a sign and a motive of pastoral charity and a special source of spiritual fruitfulness in the world. By living in this state with total dedication, moved by a sincere love for Christ the Lord, you are consecrated to Him in a new and special way. The Archbishop then laid hands on the candidates and said the prayer of consecration. 
Amidst chairs and singing, the newly ordained deacons were vested and welcomed into the fold with the keys of peace. The Holy Mass then continued with profession of faith, prayers of the faithful, and Eucharistic celebration. Part of the day's event was the blessing of the Eucharistic Tabernacle and the inauguration of the Divine Mercy Ambassadors. The newly ordained deacons led the Thanksgiving procession, dancing to the altar of God in Thanksgiving. The Mass came to an end with a note of gratitude from the Archbishop and the final blessings. <laughs>